um, I want to thank Korea for this, Koika for this opportunity. Um, I think all have been said and a lot of points have been raised. Um, big thanks to Director ICT, um, Mr. Abubakar, and Dr. Mohamed Tani. But um, a whole lot of concerns I still have is um, how sustainable are most of these um, things we're putting in place? Because my research was on the perception of, of teachers in the use of ICT in basically science and mathematics in Nigerian secondary school. And in the course of my research, which was based on technology acceptance model, um, it was found out that most teachers still found or still don't want to use ICT because they perceive it as not being useful, which is a, a very critical factor. And of course, if you're not perceiving it, technology has been useful, there is no way you can work optimally or optimize or use that tool to its full potential. So um, I think most of my concerns were being raised and I think the government, Lagos State government is doing a fantastic job in that regard. So let me just, let me just go to um, what are the impacts of education on SDG, if we get it right, of course, education is gonna impact a whole lot and that is why we need to um, put in our resources to education and unless um, ICT use in education. It's going to impact um, SDG 1, SDG 8, SDG 2 and 3, and SDG 5 and 10. Um, the problem statement is over time, there has been poor performance in WAHEC, basically science and mathematics. And we know, of course, um, developing nations, developed nations of this world, they leverage on um, education. And I'll just rush down to one of the words said by um, Dr. Olujimi, um, a senator. Like, there's a need to reevaluate and understand where the missing link is in education, sorry, um, where the missing link is in education and also, and also um, our teachers are not properly trained, which we have to research on. Of course, if the teachers are not being trained, how can they um, deliver um, the, the knowledge effectively? Okay, this is, these are my research objectives to, and of course, most of our policies are dated. So to give a suitable policy recommendation to evaluate how well teachers are using ICT and also what factors affect the perception teachers have towards the use of ICT. Okay, these are my research questions. This is my framework. It's based on technology acceptance model. And of course, it says that um, for any technology to be used or accepted, there is passive usefulness, which is a very critical factor, and there is passive ease of use. So these two factors are the two main constructs that were set how well you are using ICT. Of course, we have other factors like attitude towards use, behavior, intention to use. And of course, the end goal of this model is how well are you using ICT? So I have um, my, my methodology, a literature review, which, I'm, which I did a um, case study in Nigerian policies, Korean policies, South Africa. So there, I'm benchmarking three countries. I have my research, um, proposed research model. My questions was validated by um, SPACT. And of course, I had a Crobank server value for my um, question. And my, my um, survey sample was 43 science and 63 science and 40 mathematics students, um, teachers rather. So I have this um, research hypothesis. So this is my research design. Okay, this is my demographs, my uh, available ICT tools. Of course, my sample study was um, government schools in Abuja. So I used Abuja for my, for my um, sample, for my survey. Responded to just the sub subjects they are teaching, the average student per class, the teaching years, how ICT is being taught. Of course, we can see that ICT is not integrated. It's been taught as a separate subject. Of course, okay, this is where I tested for durability of my questionnaire. And you can see that the Crowbank's alpha value is very high. So that shows my question is reliable and um, is, 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 is worth testing. So of, this is where I tested for the correlation. And we can see here that um, the, the, significant, the significance value is very high, which shows uh, PU, PU, PU80 uh, are very um, reliable. Also, this is where I tested for my hypothesis. Um, we can see here that the, um, the standard coefficient, which is the better value, for PU is 0.547, and for PU, perceived use of use is 3.362. So it can be said that perceived usefulness has a greater impact or has a greater influence in um, attitude to use um, ICT. 
Also, um, here we can see that the standard coefficient value for PU is also higher, which shows perceived usefulness again has a higher value uh, or a higher chances of influencing the behavioral intention of teachers to use ICT. Also, we can see that um, the perceived usefulness too has um, um, an effect on perceived usefulness. So this is my linear regression model, which, um, which shows the relations of different constructs to each other. And this is a summary of my hypothesis. Also to answer my second research questions, um, I, I did, um, which we show you that um, outdated government policy to support ICT use in science and mathematics is like the highest um, factor. Of course, most of our policies are outdated. And of recent, while I was preparing for this um, that seminar, I noticed now we have a, an ICT implementation guideline, February 2009, which, which is a very laudable effort. And also we can see that teachers need training and retraining, which was one of the major thing I would focus on. Most of our, I'm sure before the pandemic, we've been talking about ICT use in education and Korean government with um, the Nigerian Korean Modern School, they've been doing a great work, but I'm not sure the emphasis was this much Thank God to the pandemic. I think we are really focusing more on ICT use in education, the digital um, the content and the like. So, okay, this is for the sub question. Of course, we can see now it is not enough to take all of these teachers to these facilities and train them. How well can they use it? Are they using these things? Because of course it is a, you can have a training for them whereby they take back in the, they take back in the training, but do they have basic understanding of some of these things? Can you open your Excel sheet? Can you do a PowerPoint? And all of this, and also let me just let me just say this: in all of our presentation, we can see that the students are ready to a very certain percentage, but how ready is our teachers? Okay, my conclusion is this: um, passive usefulness has a greater um, effect or has a greater impact on how well teachers use ICT. So, I think training and retraining of teachers is very important. These are my recommendations. We should try to review our policy documents constantly please we need to we need to not just uh, because of the pandemic also um the education authority should take into account the teachers passing because most of these teachers they have a technophobic tendencies which of course they don't want to use these tools and they feel like these tools these ict tools are not really going to help or going to impact their work also the government too can private with the we can um we can have a partnership with the private sector um grassroots um, um, apps development to help the teachers too. Okay, um, this is my action plan. But for me, I'll be leveraging on the e-government training center, which we have. Um, I know we're doing a good job with the Nigerian uh, model school, which we have um, um, the multimedia center there. But also, we can also leverage on the e-government training center, which has the state of the art facility, where we can bring in teachers and train. And also, um, a it's a big part of the short-term plan is after we train them on basic ICT tools, just basic, then we can take a grudge and expose them to digital learning content, which you have the ThinkLink, the Boozy, the EduPuzzle. Of course, it's going to be a gradual process. And on my mid-term plan is we can extend it to state where we can use some of the pilot teachers, which are being trained in, in, in the capital. For instance, we're starting with Abuja as a pilot. So we can deploy them to the state, to the statistics of the Federation, to also um, help facilitate and help enhance blended learning. And also on the long-term plan. Hello? Go ahead, please. Okay. And also on the long-term plan, um, of course, most of um, our, our um, teachers still in the colleges of education and university, I know they use ICT, but I'm not sure there is a way ICT is being fused into their models where they are exposed to these digital content or digital learning platforms. So that when they start teaching, when they graduate from the colleges of education, from the universities of um, education, they find it very easy to be able to fuse ICT into learning. I'm sure, I know they, they use ICT or they use their computers. So like um, the director said, the, the current teachers that are just graduating or the ones that are graduating in the five, 10 years can use computers, they can use their phones well, but how well can, can they use or leverage on this digital platform? So I think if um, the Ministry of Education can work with COICA and see how they can restructure the models of teachers. So not just ICT use for the teachers and the trainers of um, 
and the colleges of education and university, but exposes them to this digital content too. Okay, um, this is just like a snapshot of the government training center. Okay, my acknowledgement to the federal government of Nigeria, the South Korean government, COICA, and my um, research uh, professors. These are my references. Thank you so much. Kamsa Amida.